Hello everyone. Today we will start the new environment that is the assembly environment. So first we will learn the introduction of assembly. So so now let's start the notepad. So assembly environment. environment so we will learn some points up here about the assembly in katia so the first point is the part centric part centric assembly so second is the second is the why do we need this assembly that is assembly purpose we are going to discuss then third one is the types of assembly what are the approaches and making assembly so okay so now first we will discuss this first we will discuss these first one is the part entry part centric is basically means we first call this all one part and then fix this at the center and then call another part and then join with the center part so this is a part centric approach we use this use it all this high end software so it's just I, we will call one part fix that at center and then call another part one by one and make constraint with this centered part so this is the centric part centric approach we use in this I all handle it of this. So this is the part centric approach. Then secondly, I will discuss why do we need the assembly. So with this assembly, we use this assembly to check the actual mechanism. mechanism of the machine then second thing again to check the second point is uh, to check the clashes or some interfaces interferences between this assembled parts so to check this clashes we use this assembly now the third part that is the types of assembly types of assembly so there are not types of assembly it's a, these are the types of approaches assembly approaches so again in that two types of two types of these assembly approaches first one is the bottom up bottom up approach and the second one is top down approach now the first is the bottom up approach so while designing 
we have to have a basic design of the component we want to model of the component we can design or you can design or you can we can model all the components and assemble them separately assembly so this means that you first create all this all the parts in part design one by one and then with a part centric approach assemble that part in the assembly assembly design so this is the bottom up approach and the second is the top down approach top down approach so this is again a called as a concept design approach so with the top down approach you can design a concept so in this we create a part in assembly create one part in assembly and then with taking reference of this part the model or conceptualize all the other components so in this we do not model a part in this part design we directly design a part in assembly design and then with taking reference to this first part in the assembly we conceptualize all these other components so this approach we use this approach in fixture design design so so these are the main parts of this assembly now we will see some important toolbars in assembly so important toolbars so we first go to the assembly environment so i will close this and then to go to this assembly environment we go to start mechanical design and then assembly design so you can see that these are the important toolbars first one is the product structure tools second one is second important is the constraint toolbar then third is important is a boot toolbar then fourth one is this see this basically create a exploded view manual exploded view and then again this is a page analysis you can use page analysis Space analysis is a very important toolbar to check the interface interfaces of the clash. And then another toolbar is important is the catalog. 
so these are the main toolbar main topic here so first one is the product structure tool just to call the parts we use this toolbar second one is the constraint toolbar third one is the move toolbar you can manually move the tools move the parts in the assembly with this move toolbar you can manipulate that also the fourth one is the scene toolbar that is basically we use for exploded view creating a exploded view and the fifth one is a very important toolbar that is the space analysis to check this part slashes or then the last one is that is the sixth one is this is a catalog toolbar so these are the important toolbar so we will learn this toolbar one by one in the next lecture please subscribe my channel and like my videos if you have any queries comment below i will definitely try to solve each of them thank you thank you for watching